All right, so we're still uh, talking about uh, Euler's number, which is E, right, and how it relates to logarithms. And so let's just kind of, again, go back and do a little recap. Um, when we talked about logarithms, what we basically said was that if I had something like 2 to the third is equal to 8, okay, that I could turn this into a log form, right, by writing the word log, right, short for logarithm, okay, uh, the base, which is 2, the number that I'm raising uh, uh, an exponent to, like the answer to that, which is the eight, we call that the output. Okay? And then on the other side of this equation is equal to uh, the exponent itself, which for our problem is three, right? So we can do this conversion from exponential form to logarithmic form, okay? So if I were to ask you to do this for e, same thing's gonna apply. We're gonna say e to the x uh, equals 20, right? Let's grab a fun color like purple, okay. So we'll say this is like log, the base is e, which remember is just a number, it's 2.72, okay? And uh, my output value is 20, okay? And on the other side, I'm gonna have this uh, exponent, which is x, okay? So this is a special case of a logarithm where the base is e, okay? And here's where, where it gets fun. Uh, e is so special that it has its own logarithm and we don't type, we don't write log, we just replace the entire log e with this thing called ln, okay? Uh, and the ln, it comes from something Latin, so um, don't don't uh, worry about where the actual numbers come from, okay? And I believe on your calculator, let me see if it's in the second, uh, here it is, down bottom, right? So I have regular old log, and right below it, I have this ln. ln is when I'm doing a log problem where the base is e, right? So we never write log e, we'll always write that as ln, which is the natural logarithm, right? So here's a kind of a quick example, or your quick notes, okay? So instead of writing log e20 is equal to x, we would use the special logarithm called the natural log, okay, abbreviated as ln. Oh, and I do have the information. It is the Latin for logarithmus naturali, okay? So uh, log e would be, uh, of 20 would become ln of 20, and you have that ln button on your calculator, which we just saw, okay? So if I were to just ask you to evaluate ln of, uh, we're just going to do a couple of them real quick. Um, so we'll do the ln of 12, okay? So if I were to type in, uh, it's clear, okay, and type in 12 and hit the ln button, it gives me a number about 2.48, okay? And I just want to prove to you that this is true. If I go e to the 2.48, raise that to the 2.48 power, okay? Uh, 2.485, we want to be close, right? You can see that I get a 12 back. It's a little bit off because I rounded my exponent, but um, we're getting that answer. When I typed in ln of 12, I got uh, the the exponent that I should raise e, excuse me, raise e to to get a 12 back, okay? Here's the other reminder for you. Just like uh, we know about logs, you're not allowed to have a negative number inside of a log. The same thing is true for ln, okay? So if I hit four, make it negative, and then hit ln, I'm gonna get an invalid input. Okay, we cannot have a negative output for something that's exponential. So that means that I cannot ln or log negative numbers. So just be careful with that. Negative four is not a part of the domain of logs and natural logs, okay? So if I were to ask you to solve something like this, I'm just gonna go right down to the second one. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna get E alone, okay? So we're gonna say for this problem, it is okay, uh, 3E to the X. I'm gonna subtract the four over. Okay, and that's gonna be a 27. I'm gonna divide both sides by three and it's gonna say e to the x is equal to nine, right? Nine times three makes 27. Okay, and then at this point, we're gonna convert this into a log form, okay? Whenever we wanna solve for the exponent, we're gonna use a log, okay? So I'm gonna show you this one time and then you never have to do it again, but I just wanna make, uh, I wanna emphasize the point. If I were to convert this, this would be a log base e of nine and that would be equal to x, okay? But log base e is really just ln of nine is equal to x, okay? So if you wanna skip this step right here, if you're comfortable without writing log e and just going right from uh, e to ln, right? I think that it helps some people to see that step. So all I have to do now is go to my calculator and I'm gonna type in uh, nine and then hit the ln button and I find out that my answer is about 2.20 if I round, okay? So x in this case would be equal to 2.20, okay? And that's all you have to do to solve problems that contain E is uh, get E alone, convert it to log form, but really the log will be a natural log, okay? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna skip this. We don't really need to talk about this. Um, big idea here, just to kind of uh, emphasize it, is if I were to go back to logs, if I have a log with a base of four 
and inside of that I have a base of four, they just really cancel each other out, okay? And my answer here would just be a 10, okay? So I can do the same thing with the other one. So if I do the same thing for ln and e, um, if I were to have an ln and an e, which are opposites of each other, okay, they would cancel each other out and it would just leave behind the five, okay? E with an ln in it would do the same thing and it would just leave behind the 10. So you might come across the problem that uh, is a, a natural log problem, but it contains an E inside of it. All right, that's all that's really going on there, okay? Okay, so here's where we're going with this. Okay, this is the important thing. This is the last thing we'll do, okay? So because um, natural log is a type of logarithm, it's just a one special case of a special base, okay? Um, everything that you learned about logarithms also applies to ln. Okay, so here, let's hear the quick properties that you learned. You learned that if you have two logs with the same base, which that's what ln is, okay, they both base e, that you can put them into the same log by multiplying together what's inside. So I could turn this into ln of 5x, right, 5 times x, right, and put those together, okay. For the second one right below it, subtraction means division, right, so I can do ln, okay, and set up a fraction bar with the 2x on top and the 4y on bottom. And then I can actually, the, the reason that we have these properties is now I can do a little canceling. Two over four is really just one over two. So I can make this x and two y, right, and have that ln sitting up front. So I can expand and contract uh, natural logs just like you would with the regular logs that we've seen before. So here's our last one, just because it's got these numbers up front. This is kind of your, your quick summary problem. And the first thing I'm gonna do for both of these is to bring the coefficients inside as uh, exponents. So they're both gonna come in. And this is gonna become the ln of x squared plus the ln of y cubed minus the ln of x, okay? So I'm gonna put together the x and the y, right? Uh, multiply those together, so that would be the ln of x squared y cubed minus the ln of x, okay? And then again, remember, ln uh, with a subtraction before it just turns into division. So my final step here, before I do a little simplifying, is gonna be to set up a fraction bar, put the x on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put the uh, first part being subtracted, x squared, y cubed on top, okay? And then we have a little bit of simplifying again that happens because we've combined all this. I have x squared on top and I have an x to the first on the bottom. So I'm gonna cancel this one with one of these. So it looks like I'm gonna be left with an x, just one of them, and then three y's, it's so a y cubed. So that would be my final answer, okay? So this is no different than we did with regular log properties when it was like a log base two or a log base 10. This is now just log base e, so we can use all those properties again, okay? So again, you'll, you'll start to see some problems where we are eventually gonna have to solve uh, using some of these properties. Big idea. I didn't teach anything new except what E is and what LN is. Okay? Other than that, the properties of logs will apply.